What's up, guys? It's the Carp here, back again with another video, and uh, we start off <coughs> we start off this one with the game against Napoli at home. Uh, we won the away leg of this fixture um, early on in the season, two to one. Uh, Kaká is tired though, so he's going to go out uh, for Honda actually, because Honda is in decent form. He scored two goals off the bench pretty recently, um, so he's going to go in there and. Um, Dzeko is also going to get his debut this game. So I'm going to put him in for Delefeu and get Niang out on the wing. So there we go, Delefe or, uh, Dzeko making his debut and uh, Honda starting his first game of the season, actually. Because uh, I don't think he's started up until this point. Which is um, kind of surprising, but hopefully he can do well for us. Um, it's going to be a tough game. I mean, it is at home, so we're probably the favorites, but... In our current form, I'm gonna I'm gonna say right now, I think it's gonna end one to one. I'm hoping we can pick up the three points, and if we if we lose the game, it's just you know a complete disappointment. Um, but yeah, it could go either way really. Uh, recently, okay, so these these recent results aren't correct. I don't think. Actually, we might have played Napoli in the cup recently and beat them two one. I don't know. Anyways, we're a half hour in. Uh, nothing yet, except for a Honda yellow card. Um, approaching halftime, and Milik has made it 1-0 to them, which is not great. 60 minutes played. Delafeu's on for Bonaventura. Oh. Okay, so Niang, Niang has saved it for us. 1-1. Okay, so I mean, my prediction was right, but I was hoping I was going to be wrong. So we've drawn it 1-1. It's not, it's not the worst result in the world, but it's still points dropped. I mean, it doesn't matter if we're playing the best team in the world or the worst team in the world. I mean, points dropped is never great, and that puts us in fourth place. Um, we're still ahead of Juventus somehow. Uh, Inter Milan are top of the league. Sassuolo are still challenging for the title, which is crazy, as well as Lazio. This league is just all messed up right now. Uh, there's lots of games, you know, in hand, and teams that haven't played as many games, or teams that have played games extra, you know, it's it's pretty it's pretty all over the place. Alcacer is 81 rated, so he would have been a decent option to bring in, but I think Dzeko uh, should do just fine for us. He didn't score in his debut, but uh, you, know, you can't really expect a player to. It's just, uh, you know, a bonus if they manage to. So, Honda's still in form. I'm gonna put him out wide. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna start his first game of the season in position uh, this time around. And Suso is gonna get a, his first break from the starting eleven in a long time. Uh, he probably deserves a rest. Uh, to be honest, he's been, you know, starting pretty much every game of the season. Uh, you know, that is physically taxing on a player. Uh, but that's the lineup we're gonna go with. Uh, Kaká back in the lineup. Jeko starting his second game up front. Um, I mean, Niang is our I would say probably our starting striker at this point, but he's technically a left winger. Uh, it's his natural position, you know, in the game. Obviously, in real life, he can play either just fine. Um, but you know, he's he's going to keep playing, whether it's a striker or a left wing. But we got Lazio now, and this is a very important game. Not just because the, the three points are important for us, but also because Lazio are directly above us in the league, two points ahead. Uh, so if if they win this match. I'll say it right now, if, if they win this match, we are not winning the league. Uh, if they win this, our title hopes are over. So hopefully we keep them alive with three points. Uh, they recently lost Juventus to Juventus, uh, which isn't necessarily surprising. But other than that, they're in decent form. Um, Abate with a yellow card pretty early on. So hopefully he doesn't get a second one. Isco, though, has scored his first goal in a while to make it 1-0. Love that from him. Uh, it's not his job to score, but it's always nice when he does. Uh, so 60 minutes played now, and it's still 1-0. Honda's made it 2, and that's probably the result wrapped up. That is very good uh, to see Honda scoring. Paleta with a, ye a late red card, and uh, Keita there, uh, who I had at, uh, at Real Madrid. Very good player, but he, he made it you know he made it 2-1 uh, late on. Gave them a chance, but they we ended up winning it 2-1. So there we go. Very good result. Um, uh, unfortunate that we got that red card, though. Means he's, the means that uh, Paleta, I believe it was, is going to mix the uh, the next game, which isn't great. Um, you know, we need every uh, every good player that we need at this point, and Paleta is definitely a starter for us. Uh, but uh, yeah, Honda with the goal as well, so he's going to stay in the lineup. 
Uh, Dieko still hasn't scored yet, and he's not necessarily in form, so I'm going to put him back uh, on the bench. I'm going to get Suzu in at left wing. Can he technically play there? No, but I feel like he can. Can Honda? No, but, I mean, Suzu can play there. Uh, actually, I could try... Nah, Suzu's going to play there. Uh, Paleta, who's in bad form uh, now, I don't know if that's because of the red card or not, but he's uh, he's going to be out for one game through suspension. Um, that's the lineup I'm going to go with for the next game. All the players should be fully fit by, uh, by the time it rolls around. <clears throat> So, who do we have next? I wasn't really paying attention to who we have next. Um, great result, though, against Lazio. I wasn't... Honestly, I wasn't expecting to win that. I mean, away to one of the teams near the top of the league. Uh, yeah, it's pretty surprising. Uh, we are... Uh, six points behind top of the table, Inter Milan. They have a game in hand on us. Now, I said if we lost the last game, we were out of the title race. We might be out of the title race already, but, you know, there's still... A pretty decent amount of the season left to play, and I'm gonna stay hopeful uh, until the end. I think we can, I think we can, you know, at least finish. I want to finish second or first for sure. I mean, I definitely think we should be challenging uh, for first or second place. But we're we're definitely gonna make it in the Champions League, which was the you know the bare minimum from the board at the beginning of the season. We got Fiorentina at home. Uh, where are they at in the league? They are tenth place. Um, they they're doing pretty well. I mean, they've they've got a negative goal difference, but uh, you know this is a pretty tough tough league. Uh, I said at the beginning of the season, this, the Serie A really in real life is tougher than people make it out to be. Uh, but in FIFA especially, it is a very difficult league uh, to manage a team in because it's really hard to win the league. You know, it's similar to Brazil in past FIFAs. If you went to the Brazilian league and tried to manage a team, it was always very difficult because all the teams are really really close to the the same level. Uh, but anyways. 30 minutes in, in this match against Fiorentina, Abate with another yellow card. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was him that got a yellow card in just the last match. Probably means he's going to be out for the, the next match, uh, you know, if the game is that detailed. Bernadeschi, though, has made it 1-0 to Fiorentina, and we could be losing this game. Five minutes left to play. <sighs> okay, so we've lost to Fiorentina. Um, that's really not great. That's uh, we, we, I, we can't win the league at this point. I mean, I'll say it with confidence. I mean, we're seven points behind top of the league. I mean, 13 games to play left still, but that really puts a dent in our title hopes that game. I mean, we, we won against Lazio away, which is a game that I wasn't expecting to win. And then we lost a game that I was expecting to win. So, I mean, it's sort of evened out, but, uh, I mean, it's really not a great result. I mean, three points from the two games combined is decent, I guess. Would have really hoped for at least a draw against Fiorentina. I mean, at home, we need to be draw, or drawing or winning, really, every single match. Um, what what are they complaining about? The youth development thing. We're, we're on track for that. I mean, those players have probably end up playing 10 games. I've already developed them 10 ratings, I think. Um, just a lot of messages here. <sighs> okay, so we've got Sassuolo in the league. Uh, in our next game. Suzo didn't necessarily impress out on the left wing. He doesn't have a form error or anything. I'm going to put uh, Delphay back in the side. Honda's going to keep his spot because he's still in form. Uh, Kaka's going to keep his spot, of course. Um, Zapata's going to go... Zapata's actually going to stay in because Paleta's not in good form. Uh, I don't know why he's a captain. He shouldn't really be the captain. But uh, we're going to make Kaka the captain. And that's the lineup that we're going to go with for the next game. Actually, though... I'm going to give Corner to go, just because it's been a while since he's played a game. Hopefully he can uh, pull out a goal. A lot of times if you don't play players for a while and then they, you start playing them, they can do well. Hopefully this will be one of those cases uh, with Cornet there. He hasn't necessarily been the greatest signing in the world. I mean, I signed him in uh, the summer transfer window. He's progressed. I think, he's got, I think he went up one rating, which in that amount of time isn't great. Uh, but, you know, hopefully he can... I mean, he's still pretty young, so it could really go anywhere. But yeah, uh, hopefully we can get the win here. Niang with a very early uh, knock there. He's not subbed off yet, so I'm hoping it's not that serious of an injury. But that's not a great way to start the game. He's going to need to be sub subbed off at some point, surely. Um, we do have Dieko on the bench, though. But Kaká with his first goal back at AC Milan. And, a, and it's a very important one. It makes it 2-1. Or it makes it 1-0, but now it's 2-1. Um, 
80 minutes played. We just need to hold on at this point. And we have done Honda and Kaká with the goals. Very nice stuff. Um, we There was a close game. I mean, one goal. Uh, Sassuolo, this, this is a game, honestly, a, again, you know, that I wasn't expecting to win. Similar to the Lazio one. I mean, Sassuolo pretty high up in the table. Uh, so that was a really tough match. And we've, we've came away with three points. That's massive. Um, keeping us as close as, as we can be to the title race at this point. I mean, I guess anything can happen, really. Like, you know, teams are dropping points all over the place in the league. Uh, but next up, we have a cup game, and it is against Roma. Um, technically, we're at home. I'm not sure if you actually play these games at home or away in real life. Again, I'm not that familiar with Italian football. You know, Niang is out for seven weeks. Oh, my God. That's 21 weeks that he's been out injured of this season. That is absurd. Because um, he's had an 8-week injury, a 6-week injury, and a 7-week injury. Oh, man. Uh, but anyways, I've uh, got a scout report here. I'm just going to quickly go through this. I'm not going to sign any players right now, but I'll look at it later. Um, don't want this episode to go, go on for too much longer. And I am going to play one more game in it. Um, so I'm going to quickly go through this and just sign... Really, anyone with a... If you're wondering what I do for this, I just sign anyone with a 90-plus uh, potential because it doesn't really cost that much to sign them into the team or to sign them into the youth team. So, yeah. Uh, that's, that's what I'd recommend to do, really. Just sign anyone with an, a 90-plus potential. You could even sign players with, like, an 85-plus potential. It does have... You know, it, it can go up um, while they're in the youth team. But, uh, okay. So, we're going to need... A lot of players need rotated here. So, that's going to... I'm going to make the uh, the cup team sheet which I probably should have done a while ago uh, to be honest but yeah we're gonna make a cup team sheet here I mean it might not matter we could get knocked out of the cup at this round it's the semi-final I think which is pretty decent I mean we made it to the semi-final of the cup I think that's where the board wanted us to finish was at least the semi-final I think um, but yeah so I'm gonna get Cornet's gonna go out for Delafeu Honda, uh, because at this point he's a starter, uh, is going to go out for Suzo. Um, Dieko is going to get a start for this game. Uh, fuck it. I mean, he's, his fitness isn't great, but he's going to start. I mean, you know, his fitness isn't great considering we've got a match probably a couple days after this. Kaká's fitness is, you know, awful at this point. Fernandez is going to go in. Isu is going to go out for Barrios. And our right back uh, that we've been training is actually going to get his first appearance for the club. Uh, so hopefully he can impress. Palaita's going to go back in the team. Hopefully he can do well in this match and get his form back up. Gomez is going to start. And Antonelli is going to start. Donnarumma is going to stay in goal. Because uh, he's going to be our starting goalkeeper in any competition, really. Um, so yeah. We're playing Roma, though. Uh, technically at home. As I was saying earlier, I'm not sure if you, it's actually like at a neutral ground. I would assume it's at the, the San Siro. I would assume. Um, but anyways... Hopefully we can pick up a result. I mean, Roma aren't an easy team to beat. We did take Dzeko off of them, so hopefully that'll have an effect in the match. Maybe Dzeko can score against his former, te former team. That could be interesting. Uh, if it, you know, loads. There we go. Uh, so. AC, AS, Roma even. And the, yeah, it is the semifinals of the Copa Nazionale. Great Italian there. Uh, they've lost... One, drawn one, and won one in their last three games. They're in decent form. I mean, their loss was against Inter Milan. Um, they're starting with a full-strength lineup from the looks of it. So it's going to be tough. Uh, I would say on paper they're probably the favorites, but we are at home, technically. So, uh, But Suzo scored 31 minutes in, just past halftime now. Uh, no yellow cards yet, no other goals. 60 minutes played, it's still 1-0. Uh, this will go into extra time if Roma managed to equalize. Uh, you know, they've got to score first to do that, and the game is almost over, and that is the final whistle. So, uh, there we go. We are into the final of the Copa Nazionale. Um, maybe against Juventus, I'm not sure who are playing in it. Uh, we'll see in a future episode. But uh, that's going to be the end of this episode, so leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys next time.